Welcome to FCTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 6-2 win over Crawley Town in the Sussex Senior Cup. Adam, what were your thoughts after that one? Um, no, I thought it was a really good footballing game to be honest. Um, I think we took a bit of a while to get going. Um, you know, first 10-15 minutes, uh, I just said to the lads that I don't enjoy getting as irate as that on the sideline but you know, if, if that's what needs to get us going then you know, we've got to do it. So I want us to, to start a little bit better. But other than that, I thought as soon as we um, found our intensity that we'd like to play at, um, after that first 10, 15 minutes, I thought we, we equipped ourselves really well. And listen, they're a really good side, play some great football. And I thought it was a, a really good game. Um, obviously, the sending off um, has, a, has a big impact um, towards the end and you know makes the, the score line um, maybe a bit too flattering to us than what the game was because I thought it was a, a good contest up to then. 3-2, uh, really tight game, could have gone either way. Um, but yeah, um, just just delighted for the players. You know, we made a few changes today. There's players that have been, you know, waiting for that opportunity, uh, and you know, definitely, um, you know, it's made my job uh, really tough now trying to pick a team for Saturday because um, the lads done brilliantly Saturday, and then we backed it up again today for large parts. Um, so yeah, it's going to be going to be a tough. Um, Trying to pick a team for Saturday, but that's, that's all you can ask and all you, all you can want uh, as a manager. Two of the players that stood out for you tonight, I think Jesse Starkey being back in the team, a big positive. Liam Vincent making his return on loan as well tonight. Yeah, it's brilliant to see uh, Jess back out there, to be honest. Um, you know, he's, it took him a while to get going as well, um, first couple of touches. Um, which is to be expected, but just just enjoy watching Jess play and you know, when he can score goals like that. Um, you know, you, you want him out on the pitch um, a bit more often. But yeah, we're hoping to get that from him. Um, you know, hoping he can work on his fitness and get a little bit fitter and a bit closer to the action, uh, which will you know really benefit the squad. I thought he was excellent. I thought Michael Class alongside him was excellent as well. Um, you know, know what quality he possesses on the ball, Michael, but when he plays with that kind of determination as well, um, he's, he's some sort of player. And you know, Joe Rye as well again. Um, uh, like the first 10 15 minutes, I think he was one of the ones to maybe start a little bit slow, but after that, he was he was back to his, his normal self and was superb. And you know, the strikers didn't get um, you know much uh, joy out of him tonight. I um, thought he was excellent, and yeah, it could it, listen go through the whole team. I thought one Luca is probably the best display he's play, uh, had for a while, he's got 90 minutes into his legs now. Um, I think Cash is growing in confidence with all the minutes, he's disappointed to come off, but just wanted to. Um, rest his legs up, same with Jake's got two goals, so you know it's probably going to be missing players out. I thought the lads from the bench as well was excellent. Um, and yeah, we just got some squad. I rested Joel and Nicky Wheeler completely, didn't get Ricky on the pitch either. Um, you know, we've got Greg, Aaron, and, and Tutty, and they're injured. Um, you know, so there's six or seven big players there for us, and you know, to still have a performance like that is, is outstanding. Yeah, it was, it was excellent tonight. It really felt like it was clicking in the midfield and, and the attack. Was, for, me, for my opinion, I think one of the better attacking performances this season. No, yeah, um, I think we have got players this season um, in attack that can really hurt the opposition. Um, you know, Bailey with his pace and and one Luke is some player. Uh, he really is. He's got so much quality and um, you know we're still to see the best of him. But I think we're starting to see some glimpses now and you know hoping that his goal will will spur him on and he can have a little run in the team as well, which would do his confidence the world of good. Um, but no, yeah, I think in them forward areas we've, we've got some real options. Obviously Jordan come on for his debut today, he's been training with us for a couple of weeks. Um, and you know, I thought after the first five minutes or so, um, he really grew into the game and, and was a real handful as well. So there was lots lots to be, be pleased with. Um, just got to sharpen up on that first 10 minutes and make sure we start games a little bit better with a bit more aggression. Um, but yeah, uh, all that aside, you know, you can't fault the players. I think they've been excellent. Um, you know, it's a real big week and you know, it feels like they've come together and you know, really fancied it and um, you know, really rolled up their sleeves and, and want to be want to be part of uh, the big games this week. Yeah, two games in a row, two really strong home performances on the bounce, and now going into Saturday against Yeovil, plenty of positives to take into that one. No, there certainly is. Um, like I say, uh, you know, eight goals at home. Uh, it's, it's, 
you know, lots of positives there. Um, so yeah, lots, lots to be pleased with, but you know, we won't get carried away. Um, we're back working hard, training, trying to put things right, and um, looking at the goals, see where we can do better, and um, yeah, try and make sure we start you know, with a real good intensity. Uh, obviously, the Oval, at the top of the league, uh, you know, in, in the Championship not long ago, so you know, it's not going to be a, an easy game, and we've got to be up for it. We have to really play with uh, our, our intensity, uh, and if we can bring that with the quality that we possess, um, you know, I really feel that we can we can be a handful this year, and um, you know, it's just can see certain things clicking together. But we, yeah, like I say, don't want to get carried away, and we want to want to maintain the the positivity, and the togetherness, and, and take that into Saturday.